Hey everybody, and welcome to the new episode. So, um, I'd realised I had a lot of time before the next uh, main sort of plot point happens. So I went uh, to the gun shop to grab a few weapons, you know, prep basically for the next uh, big big event. And I came across three survivors just now, so I paused the game and, you know, because plan my plan was to do a little episode because I got um, a message from Otis saying that there's some creep with the Molotov cocktail in Wonderland Plaza. So I was going to head over there after this, but I decided to start the episode a bit early. So, let's continue. Uh, if you could leave a like and a uh, comment down below, that would help a great deal. Get that out of the way quickly. Now, are these guys friendly? Whoa! Oh, they are not! Jesus Christ! I don't even have guns. That guy's got a machine gun. Oh my god, look. Right. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! What? Ah, <laughs> oh, you! What? Whoa! Not a chance. Oh my god. Alright. Absolute assholes. So I have to run all the way back there and take a picture of the duct. Then come back here just to get my guns. I am kind of surprised the guys in the security room aren't like, What's that? You liberated the gun shop? How about you bring a few of those things back for us? Mm. They're like, nope. They're like, I couldn't give a shit about weapons. Okay, I can't believe that I'm doing this. If I was in my right mind, I'd just leave them be. But they got guns, and uh, it might be a pretty fun just to sort of escort them back. They look like they can sort of handle themselves. I mean, God, they took out the majority of my health. And I want guns. I got a psycho to fight, so I reckon I'm going to need as many guns as I can get. Uh, oh, God. That's cutting out a bit close. Twenty-seven hours. Wait, it says twenty-seven hours. Am I on like the last? Am I even on the last day yet? Well, I got like a day left, roughly. But the last plot point happens at the end of like ten o'clock tonight. I say tonight, you know, in the game. So yeah, that's weird. There are less zombies here, though. 
I've noticed. Don't know why. Yeah, that is a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Yoink. It's been so long since I've actually used the camera, I don't know if I can remember how. What is it like? Oh, like... Yep, I worked that out pretty quickly. Honestly, take a picture of the deck, you must be joking. What does that prove, though? <laughs> that could be a picture of anything, of any deck. Uh, you know, there's no guarantee it would lead you straight back to the security room. Is there a way to look over picture viewer? There you go, cool. And run all the way back. Is there a save point up there? Uh, when I get up to... Yeah, it's a bit further away though. Okay, I can do that. I'm thinking save when I get there, do the thing and see how it, you know, how it goes getting back here. Because if it's if they take too long, I can just let well leave them there. If only I understood the lyrics to this song. Like, it sounds lovely, but I just have no idea what they're saying. I can make up the odd word here and there. Zomb I thought that said zombie pride until I read it properly. Alright, I need to get to the save uh, the save room, toilets, basically, and I'll double back then and go and see those guys hiding in the gun shop. Time's at 9 o'clock, that's not too bad. Is that the way I have to go? Yes, it is. Cool. Nope. That, that's not cool. Save. Cool. Very cool, bro. Alright, this is... this is good. 
I'm making some some progress here. I'm not doing all of the side stuff I want to, but that just happens. That's part of the game, really. So it's like, yeah, the zombies in this are actually both fucking reliable than the humans, like more competent rather. That's a pretty good machine gun he's got there. She's only got a handgun though. Does this place have machine guns now? No. Well. All this shit we did. I just want food. Alright, you guys, come over here. Get your butts out from behind there. Follow me! Do you guys even come out from behind there? Alright, come on. Let's go. Come on. Up and over. Bloody hell.
This ain't going too badly. Follow so me. far. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. Okay, all three of them should be with me. Nice. Let's go. Follow me. Follow okay. me. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, she's coming. Cool. Alright, yeah, these guys are fairly competent. Follow me! Yeah, I'm in throwing distance now. Just need to get past this next bit. Which is always the hardest. Okay. That's cool. I just got it. Come on. Let's go. Alright, they should all hopefully transition with me. Cool. What are they doing? Follow come on! Me. All three of you, come on. Come on! Let's move it. Follow me! Move it. <laughs> Easy. Uh, yeah, before I go in there though, I'm gonna give this guy that, steal his yes. machine gun. So I'm gonna give this guy, the other guy, this one, that gotcha. one, and steal his shotgun. And I'm gonna give her this baseball bat. And steal that handgun. Thank you. Alright, I'll be a Come on! Come on. Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! Come on, one of you has to get up here, then the other one. Ah! Yeah, there we go.
That was easy. Ish. That's actually, no, that was probably the smoothest one I've done. But I think that's because there was less zombies for some reason. Ah, Brett. Thanks, fearless leader. Level up. Hey, extra life. Level up again. Wow. And better attack. Actually, let's check what my leveling up looks like. Uh, how do you check that? Status? Yeah, there we go. Attack, 4 out of 7. So, Josh jumped up quite a bit. Speed to life. Uh, about a quarter, three quarters of the way. Um, like 9. That's not bad. Item stock, nearly three quarters of the way. And throw distance, 3 out of 5. That's pretty good. Cutscene! Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We've got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. It's them what you're thinking. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere! <sighs> He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off! If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low... There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. I like how Frank is like, I, I didn't agree to anything. I'm just standing here, minding my own business. And you're like, yeah, let's do it. Alright, well, let's do it then. Um, 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 so what do I do? What do I do? Uh, So on the first floor, there's a maintenance access way. How do I get there, though? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go save. And hope this works. I don't know if I've, I've already saved, don't I? Yeah, I have. But screw it. Yeah, double check. And right. Yeah, let's go and save the mall, I guess. Good lord, I got a machine gun. I wonder where he got it from. Okay, let's do this. Again, no idea how I'm, I'm going to go about this, but I'll wing it and see what happens. Because I need to find a way into the underground uh, area. No idea how to get into the maintenance tunnel. But then she's like, yeah man, you have to get into the maintenance tunnel. And I was like, how? Because if I could, if I knew how to already, I'd probably be getting around this place in the maintenance tunnel. God, everyone's in Wonderland Plaza. What is it about that place? But everyone seems to be flocking there. Like, every time I get a message from Otis, it's like, Yes, this guy and that guy are in Wonderland Plaza. Don't cut me off like that. It's rude. Anyway, here's what I was saying.
Okay, I'm coming up on the maintenance access way. Okay, how do I get that though? Oh my god. Am I gonna have to... Alright, I'm gonna have to... Google this, aren't I? Because I have no idea how to get the maintenance, maintenance access key. I mean, you would have thought Otis would have one. Considering he worked here back, you know, before the uh, outbreak, but I guess not. All right, let me uh, head on back. Save that girl because I think there's a girl in the CD shop somewhere. What the hell is that? Oh, there's a clock there. Cool. Crap myself in. It was like, dong, dong. Hello? Hey, there ain't no girl here. Oh, it's there's. Alright, do I need to carry her? Because she's been bitten. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, don't thank me too much because I want that back. Come on! Come on, lady. Follow me! Follow me! That's one more person saved, and then I may have to call it a day when I do some research on what the hell I do next. Crazy lady. Now I'm gonna try and talk I'm gonna go back and try and talk to Otis and see if he's got any suggestions to make about the whole bottom disposal thing. Hopefully, you know, I'm hoping he does. Alright, and as for you, lady. 
Take the metal bar. You shouldn't have. Give me back Thank the gun. Thank you very much. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. No need for thanks. You can keep the metal bar. By all means, consider it a gift. I just want the gun. Alright. That's another one. <laughs> now you. Okay, clearly he's not much help. Um, right, I need to go and save. And then, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much going to call it a day, I think, for this episode. Um, so in the next one, I'm going to be trying to defuse the bombs. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you look after yourself and you take care. Ta-da.